Hey gang, I'm Drex from DrexFactor.com. By now I'm sure some of you have watched a few of the tutorials on my YouTube channel, but you may be wondering what happens next. How do I take all of those individual tricks and put them together into something that flows? In this video I'm going to help you get there by teaching you some combos based upon tricks that have shown off in past videos. The way this is going to work is that I'm going to demo and teach three different combos that use elements of tricks that I've already done tutorials on. The first combo is for beginners and it'll use three tricks that I've covered before. The second combo is for intermediates and it'll use five of these tricks. The third combo is for advanced spinners and it'll use up to seven tricks that I've done videos on. Finally, for experts, I'll add footwork and dance into the third combo so you can turn it into something that's actually performance worthy. For this video, here are all the tricks you'll need to have learned. For the beginner combo, you'll need to know stall chasers, crossers, and spiral wraps. For the intermediate combo, you'll also need to know isolations and in-spin throws. For the advanced and expert spinners, you'll also need to know cat eye versus isolation anti-brids as well as air wraps. I'll link to all these videos in the description as well as a playlist that you can find in the info card that just popped up out of the screen. So let's begin! First up, the beginner combo. You'll want to start with your hands spread out to either side of your body. Your left hand poi will be pointed down and your right hand poi will be turning clockwise relative to you. Let the right hand poi drop down and around to catch the left hand in a stall chaser. You'll want to do one, two, three, four stall chasers. For the time being, I'm just going to let my right hand poi go back to spinning clockwise in wall plane. Now, when I'm ready, I'm going to reach that right hand down around underneath my left to start a reverse weave off to my left hand side. I'm assuming you know how to do a reverse weave in this combo. Now, when your left hand crosses underneath the right, I want you to reach that poi all the way over behind your right shoulder, and that's going to get you into a crosser with your left hand under. Next, I'm going to wait until my right hand poi is behind me, and I'm going to unwrap my arms, bringing my right hand around under my left and ending the combo in a spiral wrap. So the whole combo all together is starting from left hand down and right hand turning clockwise, four stall chasers, ending with the left hand down again, drawing the right hand under to start a reverse weave and sneaking that left hand over into a crosser when it's underneath, unwrapping the crosser to a spiral wrap, and now here's that combo in slow motion. Now let's move on to the intermediate combo. The intermediate combo starts exactly like the beginner one with four stall chasers and entering the crosser from a brief reverse three beat weave. But now I'm going to do something a little tricky. In that spot where I would normally let the left hand poi go back behind my back, I'm going to keep it in front of my body. As it starts to turn up, my crossed arms will have the poi overlapping in the perfect spacing to switch into in isolation. Boom! Now to get out of the isolation, I'm going to do an in-spin throw with my right hand poi that will get in a single pedal and after I catch the poi, I will go into a spiral wrap to finish the combo. The toughest part about this is that switch from crosser to isolation. Keep that crosser going as slow as you possibly can so you can see that overlap coming and you can react to it fast enough to get into it. This seriously looks like magic to even many poi spinners because it seems to come out of nowhere, but it still makes sense. So the full combo then is four stall chasers, to right hand poi up, draw it underneath to the left hand into a reverse weave into a crosser, keep that left hand in front as the poi is on its way up and switch into an isolation. Exit the isolation with an in-spin throw across the body and then cap it off with a spiral wrap. Here's that combo in slow-mo.
Now let's try the advanced combo. The advanced combo, like the intermediate one, starts with four stall chasers and, of course, that crosser. But we're going to change which trick we get into from the crosser. We're still looking for that moment when the poi overlap, but this time we're going to do something even trickier. When we get to the overlap point, that left hand poi is going to drop into a counterclockwise isolation. The right hand is going to switch into a cat eye. After four isolation versus cat eye antibrids, we're going to again look for that point where both poi are swinging upwards, and we're going to treat it as if it's a pendulum for the left hand, switching to that split time, same direction isolation from the intermediate combo. From here, we exit with that in-spin throw, but rather than drop into a spiral wrap, we instead perform a quick air wrap before capping it off with a spiral wrap. So the whole combo then is four stall chasers, Right hand goes under left, and left goes under right to the crosser. Hold the crosser for two reps. Then ISO versus cat eye for four reps. Isolation for three reps. In spin throw, air wrap, and cap it off at the spiral wrap. Now, let's watch that in slow-mo. And now, let's learn how to dance with it. So first up, there's no music or counts that really go with this combo. Um, I highly encourage you to set it to music yourselves, but I'm not going to do it here. What I am going to do is uh, use dance terminology whenever I happen to know or I'm pretty sure of an accurate term. So where we start is by standing straight up on the left foot and my right is going to be out to the side in tondu. Uh, basically my toe is pointing out towards the side and I'm not really bearing much of any weight on it. Uh, I'm going to chasse left, chasse right, chasse left, and chasse to the right again. Um, so the layman's version of this is basically I'm gonna initiate movement uh, from side to side by kicking the extended leg towards the standing leg and the standing leg is going to reach out to its own side every time I do, right? Now I'm doing this as I'm doing stall chasers. So ideally I want to have those heels click together as my hands go together over the top of my head with each stall chaser, make sense? Cool. So after that final stall chaser, as my right hand reaches under towards my left, I'm going to carry my hips in an undercurve down and around towards my left hand. As the left hand comes around underneath my right, going into that crosser, I'm going to curve over towards the right hand side, and that's the beginning of the crosser. Now I'm going to do this a total of three times carrying my hips around in a circle, and I'm gonna step just slightly downstage towards my audience and diagonally uh, down towards my left as I do this. I want you to think of this as almost being like a lumbering machine that's going to come sputtering to a stop. And when it does, you bring your feet together and plie. This is the transition point to the isolation versus cat eye. The first downbeat of the cat eye, I'm going to stand up straight and tondu straight forward with my right foot. The second downbeat, I'm going to bring that right foot right back and plie again. The third downbeat, I'm going to tondu out to my right with the right foot. And on the fourth downbeat, 
that right foot comes right back and I plie again. Now I'm going to step out and this is the transition to the isolation. Um, I'm going to step out and begin a pas de bourre or grapevine step to my right. Um, that's going to mean that my left leg will pass in front of my right, my right will then open, and then my left leg will pass behind my right. Okay. Now, I don't really care how many isolations happen uh, during this step, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to use the tension in my body to push out to the left, extending my body and dragging my right foot slightly behind me as I move. Um, I know that this has a name, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, as I do this, I'm going to be performing my in-spin toss. And as I catch the poi, um, I'm going to bring my right foot over to touch my left ankle in coupe. Uh, this is during the air wrap. As I enter the spiral wrap, uh, I'm going to drop that foot into a small rond de jambe, drawing a circle with my toe uh, clockwise, or counterclockwise uh, before finishing with my feet in fourth position. Um, I have terrible turnout, but I swear it's meant to be a fourth. As the spiral wrap completes, begin a plie that essentially causes your upper body to collapse as though you're like cracking a whip. And hopefully you should wind up prostrate by the time the spiral wrap finishes like this. Yeah, um, and that's the end. Here it is with the poi, both in slow motion as well as full speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Post your own versions of yourselves performing these combos to Instagram with the hashtag DrexFactorPoi. I would love to see how everybody does these. If you like this video, please leave me a comment and let me know, and I may try a video like this again. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.